Greetings, friends of the church. How you doing? Ugh, frickin' traffic, man. See, this is the only thing I really envy California about. They have legalized lane splitting. And it makes so much frickin' sense. Now, some of you are for it. Some of you might be against it. But I'm willing to bet most, if not all, of motorcycle riders that I'm going to encounter are for either some kind of filtering or splitting to be legalized. As I go into neutral, because I'm a douche. Anyway, there is no reason, and there are plenty of reasons, why lane, sl lane splitting and filtering should be legalized. There's no reason it really shouldn't. The only reason it isn't, in my own opinion, and, and this is could be completely friggin' wrong, I haven't done a lot of research on it besides the one video and one article that I've read that basically states all the benefits of it and why it'll actually help traffic and help riders be safer and prevent rear-end collisions. So I don't really have anything against it. But what the arguments that I'm hearing against lane splitting pretty much are all the same. It's all people saying, well, if we have to wait in traffic, why shouldn't they? They're cutting the line. They should wait their turn. Do you know how selfish that sounds? I mean, even when I'm, if I'm in my car and a, a motorcycle has the ability to lane split or filter, why wouldn't I want them to just go? Get away from me. What, what if I'm having a bad day and I'm distracted while I'm driving? God forbid. You know, it sucks, but that happens to people. It happens to everybody. I don't want drivers that are all frustrated and angry sitting in traffic around me like right now i'm in a pretty decent amount of traffic it's it's pretty stop and go now i have to look everywhere i have to look at the cars on the right and the cars on the left i could go to the left lane but history tells me in, on this particular road the left lane backs up really fast because people don't pay attention and people slam on their brakes the middle lane seems to have easier flowing traffic so that's why i'm in the middle but i have to watch right i have to watch left and i have to watch behind me which i'm doing all the time anyway but it's particularly dangerous in a heavy traffic situation like this because if the traffic ahead of me now I'm looking really far ahead as you should always look really far ahead if the traffic ahead of me decides it wants to slow down rapidly and the person behind me isn't paying attention that puts me in a high-risk position I could get rear-ended now I'm watching and I'm I'm either riding on the left side of the lane or the right side of the lane so I have an out between the cars should I need to accelerate uh, quickly to get out of the way and here I am watching the guy behind me watching the traffic in front of me making sure that everybody slows down and stops peacefully without any kind of impact and watching my gears it's a, it's a lot to do in traffic now a lot of this becomes second nature but for a new rider this is this is absolutely harrowing I remember when I was a new rider having to deal with all this crap man it scares the hell out of you dealing with traffic as it is dealing with heavy traffic all these cages around you most of them just I aggravated at the traffic they just want to get home some of them are going to be jockeying for position they find a gap they're going to jump in it and that gap might have you in it and they might not just see you which has happened to me before I'll be in a lane and I'll see somebody dart right into my lane and I usually put myself in a really good position where I can avoid any kind of collision but you know I've had a few close, call, close calls like that and I don't know any motorcycle rider who hasn't if they've been riding long enough so why wouldn't, especially in a situation like this, I gr granted you need rules. You need it to be a certain mile per hour, under a certain mile per hour, whatever. There should be restrictions on it. You don't want people at, like, well, the traffic was going 60 and I felt like going a buck 20. No, it, it, come on, man. Be realistic. It should be legal to filter to the front of a line where there's a traffic light, and it should be legal to filter between lanes. I'm not saying you should constantly ride that that line marker, and here it's a little difficult to do that because they have reflectors and it can get, it get kind of bumpy and squirrely. Uh, but slower traffic, yeah, split the traffic with your motorcycle and then take the next available open lane position once traffic starts moving again. I, I will link the one video that I saw that explains all the benefits to it at the end of this video but I'm, I'm very curious to hear what your what my viewers what any viewers that are on my channel or are coming to me for the first time or repeat visitors what any of you have to say about the concept of lane filtering and lane splitting you know are you for it are, are you against it please provide clear concise arguments to support your position now I know I'm asking a lot 
of the people of the internet, and that's a generalization, and that's pretty mean. And I do apologize, because there, there are a lot of good people that, that I've met, made friends with, and commented with on uh, my video, so not everybody on the internet is just out to troll and flame. Uh, there are some of you, but not a lot, thankfully. So, yeah, if you want to get into an engaging conversation, I would love to. Let, let's have it out. Let's, let's talk about the pros and cons of lane splitting and lane filtering. And let's see if we can actually get that passed in Texas. I know it's supposed to be going for some committee, going before some committee or some legislative body, someone somewhere that doesn't ride a motorcycle deciding what's best for motorcycles. You know, that usually seems to be the case. It's just like how the men of our government decide what's best for women. But that's a completely different topic. Uh, so yeah, go ahead, please, uh, please comment. Let's talk, let's chat, let's engage. And uh, while you're at it, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I will keep providing more videos because I enjoy it. And I like you. And I like me. Take it easy.